Awesome. So hi, everyone. My name is Lena, and I am the Marketing and Communications Manager with the UPI Student Union. So part of my roles include handling all the promotional materials for the UPI Student Union, including posters, social media, emails, and any other promotional materials that we put out. I'm also the primary contact to look for volunteers to seeking you know, students to help us out with our events. And I'm also a secondary delegate alongside Hadika on the Canadian Organization of Campus Activities, which is called COCA. And now I'll let Hadika introduce herself. Hi, everyone. My name is Hadika Salman. I'm the Vice President of Student Life this year. My role involves organizing all of our student union events, campaigns, and supporting our clubs and societies. Awesome. So we'll jump straight into it. So what is the street team? The street team is, um, you know, a group of students that um, assist the UPI Student Union in various capacities throughout the year. So their roles differ a little bit depending on each event. So that would include activities such as distributing posters around campus, assisting with setting up events, sitting on committees to provide feedback on the UPI Student Union union just because we're always seeking student voices etc joining the street team is very very easy all you have to do is send us an email at communications at upisu.ca expressing your interest and we'll add you to the group of volunteers that will help us throughout the year one thing that we do recommend and that we see a lot of students doing that really makes you stand out is sending your resume at the same time just so we know where we can place you in terms of events and I can speak a little bit about our October events. So for volunteering opportunities in October, you can fill out the form listed on our website at upisu.ca slash volunteer. And the current volunteering opportunities that we have coming up is for Multicultural Monday on the 19th, we'll need help preparing the food. And then on the 21st, we'll be reheating the food and transporting it from the chaplaincy center to the UPISU where we'll be serving it. And then next up during Hello Week, we have pumpkin painting on the 28th. The main role for this event would be helping setting up and cleaning up after. And similarly for frights and crafts, we're going to have scarecrow making and we need help setting up for that event and cleaning up after. So if you're interested in helping out for any of these events, you can fill out the form found on our website and add your name as a potential volunteer. And the volunteering opportunities are available to students on a first come, first serve, first come, first serve basis. And if you have any questions about any of these events, please feel free to contact me at VP Student Life at UPISU. I'd be more than happy to clarify any of your questions. Awesome. And there are different reasons why you should join the street team. The first one is if you happen to give us the most amount of hours in terms of volunteering, the Volunteer of the Year Award may be presented to you um, if you helped out the most. Your name is also added to the UPI SU website under, you know, all the different people who have won several awards during our end of your banquet. Um, because, you know, you'll be presented the award there, you will also receive an invitation to that event where you have the opportunity to meet different stakeholders, such as different people, um, you know, working in numerous departments around campus. Um, oftentimes with our volunteers, they will request um, letters of recommendation, which any of our staff will write here happily since we know these students and, you know, we know that they have helped us with it. So it does help strengthen your resume. So I can also speak a little bit about our UPS Student Union committees. So basically the UPS Student Union exists to represent the interests of UPI students and to improve the student experience at UPI. So through our efforts, students will enjoy the best possible academic and social ex experience while being enrolled at UPI. And our UPI SU Council has various committees that exist to help oversee the affairs of the organization. And several of these committees have a student at large participate on it to give like their perspective to the council. And the committee meetings usually run on like a bi-weekly schedule during regular Monday to Friday working hours. So if you're interested in these committees, please make sure you have the time commitment prior to signing up. This means if the committees are happening at 1 p.m. bi-weekly and you have a class at 1 p.m., you need to take that into consideration before you sign up for the committee. And here are the list of committees that you can sign up for. Um, we currently have budget, funding, um, which are both chaired by the VP Finance and Administration. We have new initiatives and future directions chaired by um, the president, clubs and campaigns chaired by Hadika. Um, Fox and Crew Ad Hoc Committee also chaired by the VP Finance, External Steering Committee chaired by the VP External, and Academic Steering Committee chaired by the VP Academic. So the form to sign up for these committees can be found on our website under upisu.ca slash volunteer, or you can click the link in our bio on Instagram and it will take you directly to that form. 
So about our UPI student, uh, student Council, the UPI Student Council is the chief governing body of our organization. This means that the council has the final say in everything pertaining to the student union. Council has the power to add, remove, or modify any of our services or affiliation with the student union as they decide most beneficial for the student body. The council generally meets bi-weekly on Sunday evenings to discuss the issues of the union. And the UPS Student Union Council is composed of 25 voting members and also has four non-voting members. The 25, 24 to 25 councillors will be elected in March. Oh, sorry. The tw uh, 2025 uh, year councillors will be elected in March 2025. Sorry for our typo there, but um, you can also live stream our council meetings on Instagram on um, Sunday evenings at 6 p.m. And again, it happens bi-weekly. And when it does happen, you'll see a story before us um, beforehand that it will be happening soon. So here's a little bit of an overview of our October events. And right today, we were actually having our clubs and societies fundraising fair. Tomorrow, we have our Thanksgiving lunch and learn. And about the volunteer opportunities that we have, uh, those would be the Multicultural Monday with the Sri Lankan Society on the 21st. 28th with Glitz and Gourds being the pumpkin painting session and Frights and Crafts being the scarecrow making session. And we have lots of other events and all of these events are subject to change. So make sure you follow us on our Instagram to stay up to date with everything that's happening. And that is everything from us, but you can stay in touch with us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. We're at UPISU everywhere. And our website where you can find all of the information is upisu.ca. Thank you so much. And um, I'm just going to close this so we can take any questions if you have any. Yep. Thank you so much. Uh, we do have a couple questions that have come in. Uh, the first one is, would I need to set aside time uh, for training if I volunteer in the committees? Um, we don't typically have training just because the duties are very straightforward. So once you, again, like it's a first come first serve basis. So when you do fill out the form and we receive your name, we typically send you an email with everything that you need to know prior to volunteering with us on that event. But um, we believe our students are very capable. So we never ask too much of them um, before. So just send us an email. We'll send you an email back letting you know how much um, we want you to do on that day. And that should be everything that we require from you. Yeah. Right, and then uh, someone is asking for more information about the volunteer position at Fox and Crow Ad Hoc Committee. Yeah, so the Fox and Crow Ad Hoc Committee exists to basically look at the Fox and Crow's operations, um, more so discuss, you know, um, what kind of things that students want to see on the menu, what is working, what's not working, um, basically participate in that to kind of give that student input just because internally we don't really see the issues that, you know, we know students are seeing. So it's just basically acting as a voice as a third person, letting us know their opinions, as well as, you know, um, have a vote in terms of decision making regarding the Fox and Crow. Thank you. Um, and another one is, what is the difference between volunteering in the committees and council versus the general volunteer team? Um, council is different. It's not really volunteering. We do call it volunteer. However, you have to run in an election. Actually, our elections are currently going and that will be closing today. Um, the voting will be closing today. Council volunteering is very different in terms you have to attend uh, the council meetings. It's not really up to choice. Like you have to be there um, because you're a student representative. Um, more information on that can be found on our website under elections. Um, for committees, um, it is a bit stricter just in terms of who we choose to sit on these committees. The form itself is different because you have to write um, a paragraph basically explaining why you want to be on that committee. But for general volunteering, it's just first come, first serve, whoever picks it first gets to go in, but it all varies from um, general committees and council. Council would be um, the ones with the most rules and regulations. Yeah, council is a lot more commitment than general volunteering, for sure. Yeah. 